Okay. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name's Rebecca, and I am a paranormal investigator working for a paranormal investigation company that was started decades ago. We have a specialty in the McKay family, and, okay. Okay, don't. Okay. Okay. So apparently I'm not allowed to speak on the McKay family. <laughs> Didn't know that. Um, I, I, I guess I'll just jump right in. I, I was sent a list of questions from one of our clients. Uh, we work closely with Escape Hour Gig Harbor. That's in Gig Harbor, Washington. Um, and and they, I, I'm not sure what these are. They sent over some questions that they wanted me to answer. A lot of about game mastering. I, I think they meant paranormal investigating. So I'll just, you know. I'll just answer these questions uh, with that in mind. Um, again, not entirely sure what this is, but here we go. Uh, one of the, the first question is, what have been some of your code names that you've used while game mastering? Again, I think they mean paranormal investigating. Um, I don't believe in code names. You know, the, the quickest, most direct route is to use your given name. So people just call me Rebecca. It's worked for me since I was born. Number three. What has been a weird, memorable experience you've encountered while game mastering? Again, paranormal investigating. I, I think one time I was observing a, a group go through an experience, and I was just trying to monitor for sounds and behavior and all of that. And uh, it came to a point when I, I, I started noticing I was hearing words when no one was talking. Can't explain it to this day, but that's why they hired me, right? Number four. What? is my favorite phrase to say while game investigating. Um, that is a hard one. You know, I, I think really reminding the people that I help, the teams that I send through, you know, my staff, to just be observant. Just look, you know, observe. Saved more lives than one, am I right? Okay, moving on. Number five, what's a must have during game mastering for you? Um, paranormal investigating, probably, well, you know, your walkie-talkie. That is the one thing I always say to have on you. Your walkie-talkie or you don't know what's going on out there and you could die. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Number six. Favorite customer. Give them a shout out. <sighs> I would have to say it's the ones that survived. Um, the McKay family has probably been our most um, paying customer, or the most influential uh, customers that we've had. I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. I'm not supposed to talk about the McKay family anymore. I won't do it. Where was I? What do you tell customers who want to hint? Do I make them dance or simply give them one? Uh, I can tell you right now, I do not make my customers dance, right? Uh, we are here to solve the ghost problems, um, and that's it. So if they want help, I, I, I give them help. Like I said, the quickest, most direct route is usually the best. Uh, so that's what I do. Number eight, do I play escape rooms? If yes, please give a shout out to one of your favorite ones. Again, I'm not entirely sure what an es uh, escape room is, but I, our customer, or my, the, the people I work with at Escape Hour Gig Harbor, they have some of the most interesting experiences around that I would say. So I, I don't really, they're really all I know, right? They're all, they're all that matters. Number nine, what is my favorite part about game mastering? At, at this point, we're, we are talking about paranormal investigating. So my favorite part about it is really um, rooting out the ghosts, right? Solving all the problems, uh, but also getting to know the people. But you know, you meet the friends along the way. The human condition one can really find out a lot about when you are investigating those paranormals. <laughs> And uh, lastly, if I could give one suggestion to my players, what would it be? Again, weird. Uh, suggestion to my customers. Choose us, right? I am the best investigator that you could get for your money. So choose me. Um, but other than that, really just don't worry, be happy, stay alive, don't go into the room alone, and um, you just might survive. You know, I think that's everything here at, uh, I'm sorry? Oh, I, now? Okay, well th this, this interview is over. I have to, I have to go. Thank you for your